Hi guys, Chris here from Arc Tutorials, and today what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at Photoshop, and in particular the Lens Flare tool. Now we've had quite a lot of people asking us, how do I unlock the Lens Flare tool? Uh, the reason a lot of people are asking this is because when you use the Lens Flare tool on a picture like the one we've got here, uh, where this is a fisheye ren render that I did for one of my projects, uh, you'll see obviously the, the light is really harsh from those lights. And just to add a bit more of an effect to it, uh, we want to add a lens flare tool uh, to kind of give it a bit more depth, a bit more dynamics. Uh, now this can be used not only on artificial lights like this one that you can see here, but it can also be used uh, especially uh, on external renders, etc. Or even pictures of buildings that exist now. Um, and you place it over the sun where the light's coming from and it gives it that kind of added effect uh, to the picture itself. Now the reason that a lot of people are asking me how do I actually unlock the lens flare tool, uh, the reason is, I'll show you now, is when you're actually on here, uh, if you've never used the lens flare tool by the way, uh, you'll learn from this how to use the lens flare tool as well. Uh, and the way you do that is going to filter, is clicking on, the, so filter down to render uh, and you'll see here lens flare, just here. Uh, by clicking lens flare you'll get a different box that opens uh, and what you can do is you can pick out exactly where the light source is coming from now you'll see as I move this the lens flare itself moves around uh, dependent on what the camera would actually pick up if it was actually a real camera now what I want to do is pick out first of all just one of the lights um, so what I'm gonna do is hover over that light on the left now you'll see it's pretty bright you can I mean you can turn that up but it's kind of getting a bit too distorted um, so we'll just turn that down slightly just so you can still see uh, the lens flare you have got a few different types as well you can see around here uh, and each one of those just gives it kind of a different effect you can kind of play around with those how you see now when you do this normally on your just normal layer you'll see that actually it's locked so if you wanted to do anything uh, it's actually locked to there. You can't individually touch the lens flare tool. Now, a lot of you are probably asking, well, obviously just create a new layer and just do a lens flare from that. What you'll see, though, unfortunately, is because there is no pixels there, you can see the selected area is empty according to Photoshop. So you can't just create it straight away in its own layer. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to show you the secret of how to use it just by itself. Now what we'll do is we delete that layer. Now just the same as we did before, again make sure you're on your top layer. So we're just going to go filter, lens flare, you see it's still set up the same as before, we're going to click OK. Now that's in place. What you're going to do now is Command Z or Control Z depending on whether you're using a Mac or whether you're using a PC. And obviously that takes it away. Now what you're going to do is create a new layer. So we've got a separate layer over this. And what you want need to do is go down to make sure your foreground color is set as black. And you're going to go in your paint bucket tool. And you're going to fill everything black. Now what you're going to do is to add your lens flare to this layer. Is click on filter again. But instead of going down to render and lens flare. What you're going to do is see right at the top, what that does is it repeats the last filter that you've done or the last command that you've done. Again, you can press Command F or Control F uh, depending on what you're using to do it instantly as well. And what you'll see is that adds the lens flare to that layer. Now this is no good um, obviously at the moment because the black is actually distorting uh, and covering what we need to use behind. So what you do then is change you'll just see here different screen your different uh, types of blending and you want to go down to here to screen now what screen will do is get rid of all the black and keep all of the light in there so you can see now that we've added the screen uh, we've got the lens flare uh, we've still got our original layer uh, which is our which is our render our visualization behind that now what we can do is individually just using this layer I mean, you can move it around, as you can see, 
you can if you press command T you can adapt it you can change the different positions you can make it bigger etc etc uh, what you can also do as well which is a really good one say for instance there's a certain spot that you don't want so say for instance this one here what you do is just go over to your eraser tool and what you can actually do is erase individual parts that you don't want and you could go through right I don't need the light there etc etc what you can also do is change the opacity now as well so if you really want just kind of a subtle hint so we can just add that there to kind of get that lens flare what this also means is that what I want is you can see we've got two lights in here that should actually be giving a lens flare off now what I don't want to do is add too many of these kind of light spots but what I do want is this one that's going around this first light so what that means I can do is either using uh, either using the selection tool the rectangular marquee tool or what I can do is the lasso tool lasso tool might be a bit easier is just going around that part that I want for my light just there and then what I'm going to do is layer via copying now what that'll do is create a new layer uh, with that same piece I had before now what I'm going to do is move that over my light so where exactly my light is now you can see it's a bit off at the moment um, but just by playing with the opacity etc I can kind of add that in a bit a bit more uh, play around with the different ones so we'll make that lighten instead of screen for that one maybe turn the opacity up a little bit more and now you can see what we've got is our finished image so the two lights now are creating light spots that are coming off uh, and kind of those rings that you see around um, if you've got any more questions uh, about anything on Photoshop SketchUp V-Ray AutoCAD whatever you want Add it in the comments below or send me a message on YouTube uh, and we'll make sure uh, to get a video out to you. Cheers, thank you. Take care, guys. See you again soon for the next video.